Man, that is a mean looking little bait, isn't it? Oh, can you imagine seeing some school and bass busting in the middle of a deep Texas lake and throwing this little sucker out there? <sighs> Topwater City. Retro bassin', kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about bill dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Today we are back in the studio. Let's just say the Bassin Buds have been keeping me pretty busy these days. For whatever reason, the channel has been getting a little bit of traffic on the old YouTube as of late. And we are meeting new Bassin Buds every day on, honestly, pretty much every platform that we are out there with. So if you are new to the channel, welcome to Retro Bassin'. If you like the fish at old school, I'm talking about classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment from the golden era of bass fishing, stick around, consider subscribing, and be sure to hit that bell icon. Otherwise, you won't know. Otherwise, you won't know we post a new video like this one. So I have been getting some awesome mail from some of my bass and buds, some of which we have started to crack on the show, the rest of which hopefully we're gonna get to today. So if you have sent me something in the past, uh, honestly, month or two, um, today might be the day. <laughs> uh, and I'm pretty pumped about it. Uh, number one, I am always excited to see what kind of old school gold I get in the mail uh, from you guys. And in addition to that, I've got some fishing trips coming up. So if there's something rusty or dusty, you can bet we're going to have it on the water real soon. Okay, so the first box I've got here is from Herb Steiner. Ooh, sounds like some lures. It feels like there's a little bit of weight in here. So I'm curious to see what we've got <laughs> inside. All right. Got a little letter, we will start off with this. Hey Chris, uh, like I said in my message previously, your YouTube site is entertaining to the max. So I dug into the stash of ancient stuff and came up with a sample or two that I thought you would find fun to fish with. Ooh, I cannot wait. If you catch anything with the gear, send a photo or two to my email address. Since I lived on the Southwest Oaks and Cedar Valley for 18 years, I'm now amazed at how 290 West has changed so dramatically since I moved in 2019. Astounding. Just like everywhere around here. Uh, even sleepy old Spicewood. So hey again, if you feel like fishing Travis sometime, give me a holler. I live near Pace Bend Park area, across from the lake uh, in Lago Vista. No grass to speak of, but lots and lots of rock cliffs, points, and broad gravelly flats. That I know about for sure. Uh, not much grass or vegetation at all, but still fun to catch them with different lures than I used uh, in Lake Austin, Decker, and Fayetteville. Herb uh, Steiner. Okay, Herb, man, thanks, buddy. So Herb lives over in Spicewood, which is honestly about half an hour from here, and he fishes many of the waters that we have featured on Retro Bass. So Herb, buddy, I don't know what's inside yet. I'm trying not to look down, but thank you. <laughs> What did Herb send me? Herb. <laughs> Dude, okay, so right out of the gates, some old school Shimano gold. So we've got here a Shimano Mag Plus reel. Oh, look at that old beauty. That is a really, really nice old school reel. So this is the Shimano Mag Plus what number is this? Uh, so this is the BMP 250. I'll give you guys a close up look at that. Oh man, right out of the gates, that is worth the price of admission. 
and I am totally gonna get that bad boy spooled up and get that on a Texas lake soon. Oh, wow. I see another Shimano in here, and... Are you kidding me? The old wooden handle Shimano Bantam 100. That looks like a Rolls Royce of a reel. Look at that. Oh, that thing is beautiful. Those wood grain handles. Oof. <laughs> oh, man. That is an amazing piece of old school machinery. Oh, look at that. You guys might have seen me fishing with those Shimano fighting sticks. I need to pick up a couple more of those, if at all possible, and throw these reels on a couple of those. But wow, <laughs> those are awesome. Okay, it looks like there are some old school, and I can already tell these are heading, new in the package lures. Uh, first one is, looks like a heading chugger, or a chugger spook, right? Let's see what this is. Um, Okay, so this is the Hedden uh, Chugger Jr., I believe, in a yellow perch pattern. Wow. Oh, there's another one. And this package is a little bit busted, so I'll see if I can pop this thing out delicately. Ooh. And this is another Hedden. Oh, look at that bait. So, okay, so this is the Hedden Chugger Spook. Man, that is a mean looking little bait, isn't it? Oh, can you imagine seeing some school and bass busting in the middle of a deep Texas lake and throwing this little sucker out there? <sighs> Topwater City. Oh, wow. That's a great looking lure. And because the package, this is probably a 30 year old lure. That guy might be heading right to my top water box. Oh, wow. Look at this. So this is another baby Zara. And it was from American Anglers in Austin, Texas for $4.65. Look at that little dude. They do not make a Zara spook that is that size anymore, do they? Oh, wow. That is awesome. Uh, second season outdoors, head and lure, and it looks like it actually got discounted down to three seventy-five. So an even better deal on some old school gold. And last lure in the box is a old school head and torpedo in a color that I don't think they make anymore. It's like a white shore minnow or sort of a silver shore minnow color. That is a good looking little bait, and this also came from American Angler in Austin, Texas. So I will have to ask Herb about this American Angler place. Obviously we've been to Jensen Fish Tackle quite a bit. I'm not familiar with the American Angler. Wow, that is awesome. So Herb, buddy, thank you for the care pack and darn tootin', we are gonna get a Lake Travis real soon. All right, got another box here. Uh, this is from our bass and bud, Fred Duncan. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what we've got inside. If I make it to the whole episode without cutting myself, I'm gonna consider it a win. I don't even care what kind of views we get. <laughs> All right, so we've got a little note from Mr. Fred. So retro. A few from my uncle's tackle box. Early, mid, 70s. Oof, three words that I enjoy. Early, mid, and 70s. Uh, thought you might like them. Love your channel. I'm 60 years old, still uh, guiding. Oh wow, very cool. Miss the old days, AKA Olaf. Olaf, buddy, Um, see you in the comments section all the time. Dude, thank you so much for uh, climbing aboard the retro wagon and definitely thanks for hitting me up here. Uh, looks like we got a little bit more on the note here. Um, okay, so prop baits are some top water called skipjacks. He sent me skipjacks? All right, buddy, let's check out what we've got inside. That 
is a good looking little box of baits, isn't it? Woo! So what do we grab first? Do we grab the Rebel first? All right, we'll grab the Rebel first. Oh, wow. So here we go. Here is a Rebel, uh, looks like a deep. We are in a color selector pattern. Check out that. And this was sold at one point for $2.49, which is definitely like the eBay market for vintage new in the package Rebels, right? <laughs> awesome. Huh, what is this? Original Rapala, but the bait in here looks like a Rapala I've never seen before. Is this thing openable? Oh, it is. Good, good, good. Bass and Buds. Uh, is it just me or I do not recognize that Rapala? That is a little bit before my time, I think. So this says Rapala Deep Diver 90-2, or yeah. Son, I have no idea. That is the wildest looking Rapala. That looks more like a saltwater lip to me. I've never seen a metal lip on a bait that looks more of the size for largemouth bass. And look at the nose on that, by the way. That is the wildest Rapala nose. <sighs> Olaf, you stumped me, brother. Um, I've never seen this. If you guys know anything about this bait, Olaf, if you know anything about this bait, <laughs> drop a comment down below and let me know. <laughs> but that's awesome. Okay, so it looks like we've got another Rebel Deep. We are in a chartreuse crawfish pattern for $2.49. Um, I just love that old school red, white, and blue Rebel packaging. Awesome. Oh, ho, ho, I see a little something from Rabble Rouser Lures. This is the Rouster. And this is a pretty cool crankbait if you guys have never seen this. I have actually got a few of these rigged up uh, in my Umco tackle box. I have been meaning to do a little bit of a Rabble Rouser episode. Say that three times fast. But look at that crankbait. That is a funky looking thing, man. It's got these big old eyes this unique cupped face, sort of a flanged bill there. Man, that thing looks like it would definitely do some rooting. And from the line tie on here, it looks like Olaf probably did a little bit of fishing with this bad boy. What else do we have in here? Ooh. I see a Hubbard Sparkle Tail. I think these baits, I don't know if they're still available from Eppinger, but you could get these from Eppinger at least a few years ago. This is a pretty cool little crankbait. It is a little mini crankbait with a tail that has a few sparkles on it. And it's got a molded in lip. That looks like that would be a tight little crankbait. You could probably do some damage on a pond or a creek with a little bait like that and a little spinner rod with maybe some 10 pound test line. Nice, man. And I love any old lure that comes in a plastic case like that. All right, we've got another uh, Hubbard sparkle tail here. Should we pop him open? Let's pop him open. Huh. That's a pretty looking bait. Look at that color. It is sort of copper on the top, a little gold and silver on the sides, a little bit of a red accent at the bill. Woof, man, that's pretty as a picture, isn't it? And here are a couple of the skipjacks. Man, I do not have any of these, so I am super pumped to get a couple of these bad boys, and these are definitely casters in my top water box. So there's the first one. It almost is reminiscent of a Cordell Crazy Shad, to be honest with you. It's got sort of that torpedo look to it. Looks like it's about a two inch bait with a propeller on the uh, front and the back. There's an old school color there. And here is another one in sort of a yellow shore minnow color. Man, I am totally going to be throwing these guys this summer. Look at that. That's a good looking bait. 
Anything else? Oh, okay. Looks like we do have a uh, business card from Fred, and it says Fred Duncan Fishing Guide on Lake Altoona. All right, man. Um, here, Bass and Buds, here is Fred's information. I will definitely drop a link to this in the video description as well if, you know, for whatever reason this is out of focus. But Fred, thank you, buddy, for, man, the old school awesome box of gear. And hopefully we'll see you on the water soon. All right, here's another one. Ah, this is from one of my Bass and Buds on Instagram. Dr. Willis, I believe. So what is in this? It sounds catchy, doesn't it? <laughs> you should see what happens when a box shows up my house and it rattles like this. Ah, oh, boy. Let me try to open this thing without destroying what's inside. So what do we have here? First off, some Rattlesnake Tournament Series baits. Uh, that's pretty old school uh, lore. I forget this particular one, but it almost looks like a uh, culprit worm, um, but like a three inch model. That's pretty cool. What is this? Tom Mann's Junior Fisherman Official Membership Card. That is like an old school artifact there. Check that out. I don't know anything about that. So what is this? The above sign is a member in good standing, uh, entitled to all the rights and benefits thereof. <laughs> it sounds like the little orphan Andy club, doesn't it? <laughs> Better drink more Ovaltine. Oh man, that's awesome though. That is, uh, that is gonna go somewhere on display. That is, it's gonna go on display here. That's where it's gonna go. <laughs> awesome. All right, what else do we have here? A uh, Fluger hand pack or handy pack, depending on how you sell all that. Uh, looks like some old school hooks, I'm thinking, right? That's not gonna get open anytime soon. But that is pretty cool, an old tin of hooks. Cause it's got hooks on the back, I kinda had a feeling. <laughs> All right, what else do, oh, something else from Tom, man. Check out that, a Fish World spinnerbait. I've got a lot of Fish World stuff, especially Pogo Shads, but I've never seen this. So Tom Man's Fish World lures designed by Tom Mann, Eufaula, Alabama. That is a pretty cool one. That is totally gonna be a collector, not a caster. Wow, that's awesome. Very cool. And on the back here it says, subscribe now to Tom Man Outdoors and save $1 on the regular price of $16. Tom Man Outdoors is a new exciting magazine which covers all types of outdoor activities for all outdoorsmen. Man, I would love to get a copy of Tom Man Outdoors magazine. Oh, that would be awesome. What else do we have here? Uh, I don't have a lot of Yozuri stuff, to be honest with you. More of a saltwater bait, but that's pretty cool. An old school Yozuri. I think this is called the Crystal Minnow, if I recall. And I used to have a bunch of these for stripers, actually. So it's a bait that I'm quite familiar with, and I probably have caught a barracuda or two on it. Ooh. What is this? Fish World Rattle Shaft Buzzbait. This actually looks similar to a buzzbait that I got from Okie Bug. And I'll try to hold it up here. It looks like you've got the blade here, and I think that it hits this little bobbin and probably has some sort of pretty wild clacking sound. Uh, that's a pretty awesome looking bait, man. Wow. Very cool. And I've never heard of that before. <laughs> Check that thing out. All right, ho, ho, ho. A little mirror lure action. This is definitely some old school stuff here. And I'm gonna pop this open because these mirror lure packs, you can open them and close them quite easily. 
So there is an old school mirror lure three hook little jerk bait. I always wondered if you could catch a bass on a mirror lure. I have definitely thrown these for stripers, redfish, and I always wondered if this kind of bait would work like on a grass flat for largemouth. I've never actually thrown them for largemouth, but mm, I don't know. Next time I see a big old grass flat, I might try. That's pretty cool looking. And one more thing in here. Um, ah, this is a unbranded, oh wait, it's branded, but I'm too old to read that. So thank you for that box. We've got some old school goodies there that we are definitely gonna be putting on display in the old retro museum behind me. Well, Bass and Buds, thank you for tuning in. And by the way, we have been getting a ton of requests for the retro bass and hats. We were out of stock with those, but we should have more of them up on the Text Provisions website and more on the way. So thank you guys for the support. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'.